Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Georgia Picker, and look who it is. It's the wifey. I told you I'd be back. Yeah, so we promise you guys that she's going to be part of pretty much almost every video. There's going to be some times where she's not, but that's because she's doing other things or working somewhere else or doing her housewife duties, whatever you guys want to say. Uh, but anyways, uh, if you guys do not know who I am, my name is Brandon, also known as Georgia Picker. Pretty much we go to garage sales, thrift stores, do abandoned storage units, bin stores. Basically we go to places and we find stuff and we flip them online for a profit. That's to basically to sum it up. Uh, and uh, today is a new What Sold video and it is Tuesday and we actually had a really good productive past two days. We have 18 items going out for $1,107.31. And I did make one local sale for $40. So that puts us over $1,150 for the day. So uh, the wife is going to be taking over here in just a sec. But I do have a handful of items I went ahead and pulled because they were in the garage. They're Pokemon cards or they were in the closet. And I want her main focus to be is just the bins and that type of stuff. So, so this is the four items that I pulled. Like I said, these two were in the garage. This was in the closet. And this is the Pokemon card. So first and foremost, if you guys do not remember, Remember, I bought all that brand new sporting uh, equipment. This is a Hack 500 Rucket Sports uh, Golf Net 9x7x5, I believe. No, 9x7x3. So this Golf Net right here we got from that uh, all that uh, brand new sporting equipment buyout that I did for $3,100. This one net right here sold for $190. So that right there is a great sale. Uh, this one over here is a Rocket Sports 5x5 baseball net with the strike zone. And uh, this is the BASX 600 model. And this right here is sold for $50, which is great. This over here is uh, some Chevy hubcap with lugs. Um, we got this at a yard sale for five bucks a while back. It took about two-ish, maybe three months, eh, about two and a half months. Uh, to sell got five bucks into it and it sold for thirty dollars plus shipping so that's always good and the og bulbasaur uh you know uh basically it's a it's a common card nothing that's special about it except for it is vintage uh so this bulbasaur card we got from the pokemon card buyout we still have a whole bunch of it plus all the stuff that's over there and this card right here sold for two dollars and 99 cents okay so we're going to C4 first. C4. C4. So we gotta go all the way. Oh no, I can go right here. It's so fun. It's like a maze. It is like a maze, isn't it? <laughs> so we got some 3M Pelter Work Tunes Digital Hearing Protecting Radio. Mm. Is that it? Nope. No, that's not it. Give me a second. Yeah, some of these tubs are very filled up because I have been listening like crazy and we're just trying to find room. And Because my baby's working hard. I am. I am working hard. I'm trying to, at least. See if she can find them. <laughs> I'm telling you, some of that stuff is buried. Found them. Oh, there you go. Look at that. So, I don't know where we got these from, so you're going to have to tell them that. I, I think they came from a storage unit. And I just got no, around... No, these, these are the ones... These are the ones we got at Goodwill, ain't it? Yeah, these are the ones we got at Goodwill. Is it? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, because these these did not come from a storage unit. I okay, know, may, may, maybe we got them for Goodwill. How much did we pay, pay for them? Five bucks? Something like that. I I don't remember. But what did they sell for? They sold for thirty nine ninety nine free shipping. All right, Forty bucks. Sounds good to me. Now we got D four. D four. This one's also <laughs> packed because I just I literally just filled this one up, as you guys can see. And it is a refrigerator filter. And where did I get this one from? We got it recently. Uh, wait, the, the filter. The filter. Where do we get it from? Hold on. Hold on. Let me find it first. Maybe if I see <laughs> it, you know, I'll remember it. There you go. Now she found it. So where do we get that from? The bin store. Yes. Where at? What do you mean we're at? So this is from 10 Spot from the bin store oh. at uh, in Hinesville. And we got this item for $5 on Black Friday. And it actually sold pretty quick with uh, less than a week. So how much did it sell it for? $32.99 free shipping. Yeah, so be on the lookout for water filters, you guys. Water filters sell all day. Um, whenever you guys, if you guys ever do get into water filters, go to the uh, Vero... Um, 
eBay thing to where it actually shows you like what all companies actually pay for Vero and stuff like that. Uh, this was not part of that Vero. I've double checked it, um, but you definitely want to be on the lookout for water filters just in case they are Vero. Back to C4. Back to C4. Let's go. And it's these ones. Yeah, where do we get those from? Storage unit? Nope. We Goodwill? got, huh? Goodwill? Nope. We got this X3? from, yeah, we got this from X3. They had like a little baggie um, filled with uh, all types of stuff. And the, these headphones uh, were $5. Yeah. And they actually sold pretty quick too, surprisingly. I, I didn't think they were going to sell this quick. Because they're vintage, what is it, cost? Yep. Headphones, dual volume control from the early 70s. Sold for $19.99 plus shipping. There you go. Not a whole lot of money, but for a you know a thrift store find, uh, I can't complain about that. Yes. Back to D4. All right, D4 again. Look at that. See? Oh my God. It's weird because... I thought you said this was going to be challenging. Oh, it, it's going to be challenging. Trust me. It's going to be challenging. Okay, so we're doing the John Frieda thing. Yep, you found this at the Ben store. I did. Yep. She found this at the Friendly Marketplace bin store here in Savannah, and she found this all by herself. And it was, let's see, it was fill a dollar, or fill a bag. For nope. It was $6 oh, that, It was $6 because you went on the day yep. where they did the You didn't go bag. with me on that. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so she got this for $6 at the bin store. Yeah. And how much did it sell for? And it sold in less than a week. Yeah, but it's basically, you know, it's, it's for us girls. We can dry and brush our hair now. Um, so for $24.99 plus shipping. There you go. And the <laughs> wife found that all by herself. So pretty much when we went to the bin store, I went to go do my thing. She went to go do her thing. And this is one of the things that, that she found. So I I'm mean, getting better, Tom. You are getting better. You're helping. Yeah, you are getting better. You guys are motivating her. Okay. So now mm -hmm. we've got a Matchbox car, a <laughs> Dodge Viper RT10 Red. <laughs> you never find this one. Hold on. Closet? Mm -hmm. yes. Yep, closet. I okay. I did it! <laughs> it is, this one is in the closet. This is the only thing I didn't pull because I wanted it to be a curveball for her. Because, so, if you guys don't understand why she's doing this, because she's trying to she's trying to get used to the inventory system that way she can potentially do this by herself just in case. You never know if I'm like really sick one day or, you know, I'm in the hospital dying or something, you know, she can take over. <clears throat> and I also want the females or the males, you know, if you want. I need y'all to tell me if y'all want to see a video of just me going to like TJ Maxx, Ross, and you know, places like that. Like, I know they're a retail store, but it could basically be a retail arbitrage for me because I really love those stores. And we actually found some really good stuff in Ross today. And so, I mean, if y'all want to see more videos of me doing that by myself, let me know. Yeah, and you guys already saw that video uh, by the time this airs. So, uh, but uh, yeah, so pretty much we came up with the idea of her taking the GoPro, you know, maybe just give me a day off because, or or a day where I'm really doing like a lot of listing. I don't really need the GoPro. Um, and she was going to be taking the GoPro with my backpack and see if she can find anything, you know. Uh, so if you guys do want to see that, comment down below um, because uh, she's been motivated lately as she's joining me in my on my ebay journey so uh so it looks like the wife has found it i found it it's a oh i've already told y'all what it was how much did it sell for <laughs> it sold for 5.99 plus shipping all right so 5.99 plus shipping on this matchbox premiere collection we actually got this from um buddy trip at his very first uh or actually no we got these from his first garage show or the private pick that i did at his own personal storage unit looking for the little red car yes i am I didn't know where you put it. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. So this one. <laughs> so Oh wait, before you before you do that. So if you guys haven't noticed, this pretty much this whole area has been like cleaned out, right? So we moved this, we moved the food time, added an extra rack. Long story short, my wife basically cleaned it because she has OCD and she took all my stuff that I had here, stuff that I had like kind of uh off to the side that I was messing with, I had a few things listed, etc. And she decided to mix it in with a whole bunch of diecast cars because in there. Because I was told to. Don't let him lie. Mm -mm. You told me everything on that side of the that side of the table could go 
in. Mm. Don't believe it, you guys. Yeah. You told me after. So how much did it sell for? It sold for $19.99 free shipping. Yeah, for a little die cast car. A little die cast car. Yeah, very cool. Fisher Price Doctor Nurse Medical Kit Replacement. Let's see, that's a toy. Uh huh. So is it in the toy bin? I don't know. Why don't you find out? Let's see if it's in the toy bin. <gasps> it is. Okay, that's the. There it is. Oh, there you we go. go. Pew, 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 yeah, pew. so we got this for two dollars, like a whole kit, but it was missing a few things. A few parts were like chewed up from a dog, so we're already in the green. So yeah. this is all pure profit. So this is nine ninety nine free shipping. No, what is it? It is a vintage seventy seven Fisher Price Doctor Nurse Medical Kit Replacement Syringe. There you go. Yes. Next, oh, you gotta make this so hard. There's no skew. <laughs> A vintage Black & Decker corded tree. Alright, I'm not gonna lie about this. I don't know where this one is either. <gasps> what? I think eBay messed up on my skew or something because oh. I I have an idea of where it's at. I think it's on R1 or R2. Oh, and if it's not, then it's gonna be... What is it? Hold on, it's right here. Where? Oh yeah. See? <laughs> I knew where it was the whole time. Yeah. So... Do you remember where we got this? Is it a unit? Yep. We got this from a storage. I think it was from the architect storage yeah. unit. Um, it sold for twenty dollars plus shipping, and it's a corded drill. Very cool stuff. Yeah, I got this from the architect storage unit. Already well in the green on that deal, and yeah, that just made us a little bit more money. For a second, I couldn't breathe there, and I don't know why. Like, <laughs> why? <laughs> okay, the black rack is in the call. No, it's not. What do you think? Black rack. <laughs> Black rack, this one. This one. Okay. <laughs> got it. We got a Bose music system player. Yeah, that Bose uh, system right here. We actually found this at the diecast car storage unit. I put this off to the side for a long time and I meant to come back to it and I forgot I had it and I listed it and it literally sold within about 10 to 20 minutes. It was it was ridiculous on how fast this thing sold for. You wanna know how much it went for? How much you go for? $254.99? So $255 plus shipping. Plus shipping. Yeah, that's crazy. Without the remote, had the hookups, it works, it's tested, all that good stuff. And $255 plus shipping. I was waiting, I was waiting, I was waiting oh, for I'm you sorry. to say it. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. improvise, you know. It's really heavy. Well, go ahead, baby. You're yeah. strong. You've been lifting. It's really heavy. That's fine. Your back says empowering, so this is an empowering moment. Yeah, but the grease in my stomach doesn't say I'm empowering. Don't matter. So, we got the X-Files 1 through 7. This is hard, isn't it? I don't know, can't you read? 7, <laughs> 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, okay, yeah. So, X-Files 1 through 7. Seventy-four ninety-nine for shipping. And where do we get this from? And tell them the backstory. This is from the diecast unit in the boxes of DVDs that were sitting yeah. in our guest room for like six months. Yeah. So if you guys haven't heard the story, we had like three white boxes that were sitting in there. Uh, that set, a, bunch, a few other sets, a couple other DVDs, like a couple of these sets, uh, that came from, uh, that box and, uh, it was like $640 worth of stuff. So ridiculous. We got a new wave pick gold precision cooktop. Oh, it's a portable hot plate. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So the new wave thing, if you guys don't remember at the garage sale or I guess the state sale or whatever it was, we got this and then something else for like 10 bucks in total. So we decided to part everything out. Um, so this is all pure profit. Yay! And it sold for $34.99 plus shipping. $34.99 plus shipping. Let's get it. This is mm -hmm. what it looks like though. Very clean. Yeah. And it worked. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Now we got a village. What's the village called? Crosby House. Alright, so we're looking for the Crosby House. Okay. Okay, so we got this at an estate sale. <clears throat> And I don't know how much we paid for each one of them individually. Individually, we had like, it, it was like $26 per village or something. But we spent 1500 in total and 
All the villagers are almost gone. Almost. And so we, we made... Because people getting ready for Christmas. They are. They are. All right, how much does it sell for? $49.99 plus shipping. Yeah, it's so $50, you guys, just for a uh, Department 56 village. Oh. Let's get it. Wait, where's C1? <laughs> C1's in there, right? No? Where's it at? <laughs> no, I'm confused. It's right in front of you. No, it's not. No, in front of you. Like in front of you. See? In front of you. That's to the side of me. Not if you turn straight like me. <laughs> Road mark across right here. Oh, look at that. So that's part of the same estate sale that we got everything else, but it's yep. the King's Road Market Cross. Yeah, these are all like the small miniature, you know, <laughs> not big stuff, but Yeah. And it went for fourteen ninety nine plus shipping. Let's go, fifteen dollars plus shipping. Okay, now we're going to see four again. Gosh. C4. Oh my god. I did a lot of listings in C4, woman. I know. <laughs> um, we got a, ooh, another new wave. Yeah, this is the thing that we parted out. Uh, it's a Oven Pro Plus black motorhead unit. Yep. And it's over $19.99 plus shipping. Nice. All right, guys. So that is everything that is going out for over $1,100. So uh, if you guys do enjoy this video or have been enjoying this video, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, um, and share the video. So we will see you guys Thursday night with what sold. So we will see you guys in just a sec. Charlie, any last words? Y'all are freaking awesome. There you go. All right. See you guys Thursday. Yo, what's going on everybody? Check it out. It is Thursday night and unfortunately the wife is not going to be joining me today because she's uh, doing this little side gig uh, going catering. I've talked about it in the past. She does it like every now and then um, to make a little extra income, which is music to my ears, right? Um, however, I do wish she was here doing the video with me. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyways, uh, it is Thursday and it is 8.30 at night. <clears throat> so we're getting our packages pulled up or pulled a little bit early because there's actually some bigger packages that are going out So it's going to take just a little bit longer to pack up. So uh, we have 17 items going out 16 over here over on eBay for $968.77 and then we have one item going out over on Amazon for $15.84 with some retail arbitrage, which is great not making a lot of money from it, but Still a sell. Um, but that puts our total up to $984.61 between uh, Wednesday and all the way till today. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and pull, pack, and ship these items out for tomorrow morning. Before we get into that, what's going on, big man? What you done? Hanging out with daddy? That's a good boy. What are you doing? Listen, all eyes are on you, buddy. Everybody's watching you. Everybody is watching you. Do something funny. I'm gonna get you. Oh, he doesn't want to do anything. He's he. What's wrong with you? Why are you being all sh camera shy, buddy? Huh? One of these days, I'm gonna catch him doing like he, him getting the zoomies. I'm, I'm gonna catch him one day because he is funny. What's up, buddy? Give me that paw. No. Oh, I guess you're just gonna be a good boy now. All right. All right, guys, so we first pulled the stuff that are that is basically in my room uh, or the closet or the spare bedroom. That way, you know, kind of easier to uh, edit the video, and that way it's not as long for you guys. So uh, we have four Pokemon cards going out. We have these two going out to two separate buyers, which is Bulbasaur, the original vintage back in the 90s. Uh, Bulbasaur Uncommon sold for $2.99 each, um, and this is from the Pokemon card uh, deal that I made in the past. Uh, this side duck, which is sealed, this is a hollow rare, and we actually have a few of these. Uh, this one right here actually sold for $4.99. So if you guys don't know about the Pokemon deal, I spent uh, $800 on everything, and we are projected to make around $5,000, if not more. Actually, probably more than $5,000. If I was to sell each one of these cards for $0.50 cents a piece, it would be at uh, $5,000, but essentially we're selling them way more than $0.50, cents, right? Um, so I guess in theory, in reality, we're probably looking at more of, I don't know, maybe, maybe 8,000, maybe somewhere around there. But anyways, the last one going out is going to be this VMAX card. It is Incineroar. We've actually sold many of these. And this one right here sold for $2.73. Alright guys, so we got some Frigidaire filters going out. We got these for a dollar a piece on Dollar Day at the Friendly Marketplace uh, bin store. And the set of three of these sold for $19.99, free shipping. 
And the big hitter out of all these right here, it's going to be this nine and a half inch uh, Garfield ceramic vase. Now these are extremely rare. Uh, we got this from that Garfield deal. <clears throat> and this one sold overnight, probably within five hours, six hours. None was listed on eBay. Um, this thing is very clean, very cool, um, very rare. And this little piece right here sold for a total of $200. And just so you guys can see that right there, $200 for this little vase. And it sold extremely quick. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for some really, really high quality Garfield stuff, vintage stuff, because that stuff uh, sells all day. All right, guys, so I actually just listed this the other day, and it probably sold in less than maybe four or five days now. Uh, so this is going to be two Guitar Hero Live uh, PS3 games, as well as uh, two of these ps3 uh guitar hero live guitars um the receivers are actually in with the bat or inside the battery compartment so basically we sold two guitars two video games with two receivers all of the guitars or all the or both the guitars have all the items that go to it and it sold for 125 dollars plus shipping so from that garfield deal i'm just showing you guys right here uh we this is where we put all of our little figures um like i said there's not a whole lot of money in some of them but then there is for maybe three or four of them uh but the last smaller statue um are gonna be or is going to be this piece right here i just went ahead and took a best offer on it because i'm ready to see these kind of move out a little bit even though we just made room for more but the bigger ones i got three of those left um shipped out many of them and have not, and i've not had any issues with them with the shipping um all of them came in great shape and all that good stuff so uh, i cut a deal for this one for 25 dollars plus shipping and this one right here is called um garfield's garden so very cool stuff so 25 dollars plus shipping all right wrapping around here this actually sold a while back um but the person didn't pay for it i put it back up online and it uh sold pretty quick so this is a unit in bearcat 880 I got this for 10 bucks at a yard sale and this right here sold for 70 dollars plus shipping all right guys over here in d4 we got this from the friendly marketplace bins for six dollar day uh sold in less than a week and it's gonna be two of these systems and ooh, there we go uh, my wife actually stole the last one <laughs> that uh that i got at the bin store um i found one originally and the wife um stole it for our video game collection so it is what it is six bucks and we found these two on six dollar day so we got six dollars a piece um somebody sent me an offer for both and these sold for 49.90 plus shipping so essentially 50 dollars for a 12 dollar investment that's a win in my book all right guys i guess i should have stayed there so back at the same same bin same store friendly marketplace we uh, picked up this GPS tracker um, for six bucks at the bin store. Um, I'm not sure what it is. I think it goes inside your car. Yeah, like I was saying, I think it goes inside your car and it just puts a GPS tracker on your vehicle. Um, got it for six bucks and this right here sold for $74.99. Free shipping. All right, over here in R2, we just got this and it sold less than a week. Um, we got this for... 50 bucks at the bin store in Hinesville called 10 spot and this is a Corsair IQ Elite Capilex uh, water cooling for your PC got 50 bucks in it and again you know we're not making like crazy amounts of money but it sold extremely quick and we doubled our money this right here sold for $110 plus shipping all right guys got a video game going out we have Iron Man for the PS2 uh, I believe this is from a storage unit I think um, yeah, for the PlayStation 2 black label and this one right here sold for $9.99 free shipping. All right, guys, something that I've had for quite some time now, um, definitely less than a year, but over here in C4, we have this uh, ornament, but it's the Martha Stewart collection. We actually had a green one of these that sold um, uh, earlier this year or like maybe last year, but it's not quite, it hadn't quite been a year. Um, since we've had this, but uh, Martha Stewart um, Christmas tree topper, this right here sold for twelve dollars plus shipping. All right, so if you guys remember that yard sale where the guy was a reseller, um, I told him I was a reseller, and I don't think he understood the value of this. I could be wrong, but he thought I saw the thirty-five dollar price tag on the back, and he was like, "Well, since I know what you're gonna do with it, how about eight bucks?" and 
he wanted less for this, but he wanted more for the Pillsbury Doughboy gumball machine, which made no sense to me. Not saying he doesn't know what he's doing, but what I'm saying is that just logically doesn't make sense to me. He wanted something more that was cheaper, but then he wanted something less that was worth more. So anyways, uh, so this is from Bed Bath & Beyond. It's a haunted house, uh, luminary, uh, Slatkin & Co. like haunted house. And this right here actually sold for $74.99 plus shipping off an $8 investment. And on the inside, it looks brand new. So $75 plus shipping. Yeah, you guys, some really great sales um, over the past couple days. Uh, but we do have another video game going out and it's going to be uh, Jaws Unleashed for the PS2. I believe this is from a storage unit as well. And it sold for $12.99 free shipping all right guys so we actually just got a sell in as we're recording this video it seems like it just always happens um but uh so with that sale that actually came in this actually i just listed this today and it sold extremely quick um which brings us up to one thousand and fifty dollars and twenty seven cents over on ebay which puts us at a total of one thousand and sixty six dollars and eleven cents so that put us over a thousand dollars so let's go ahead and pull that item which is actually gonna be right behind me and oh max what you doing buddy got a couple things that i'm listing here and all that what you doing buddy you want the covers i know it's not cold in here oh that's the best i can do for now buddy huh you see hi okay anyways uh, as i'm getting some of that garfield stuff so this is some of like the more heavy hitters um, I decided to put this cat phone um, up here and we just listed this the brand on it is called Tyco T-Y-C-O and this item right here sold for $54.99 plus shipping I think it's like over $80 all in um, but yeah 55 bucks for a Garfield cat phone so be on the lookout for this Garfield stuff man because it can go for some crazy money all right guys so we got one more item going out uh, over on Amazon and I believe that is everything that's going out on eBay. It is. So I had to double check my phone. Um, but yeah. So this is like my retail arbitrage. Um, I guess rack. I guess. <laughs> All right. So let's put that one there. And we are looking for a Super Mario one. I think he's all the way in the back. Let me see if I can reach. And I, I can. And I don't want to mess anything up. And there we go. All right. Cool. So we actually got these um, at Walmart Hidden Clearance. Um, like I said, again, we're not making like a ton of money on these, but I believe we got these for about, I believe $8 or so, maybe seven bucks. Um, we got like two of them, wasn't a lot of them. But yeah, we got this one for like seven bucks. And uh, this right here sold for $15.84 over on Amazon. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty surprising. Um, speaking that they've been on Amazon for quite some time as well. All right, guys, and that's all $1,066 worth of merchandise going out. Um, yeah, crazy couple of days, man. Crazy week uh, and, and crazy last weekend. So truly blessed to have these sales come in. It is Christmas, uh, and I've been listing a ton. Of, oh, matter of fact, before I let you guys go roll into Sunday real quick, um, we actually started up my accountability board again. So pretty much my goal is to hit over 1,000 listings a day. Not saying that's going to happen, but that's my goal. Yesterday we listed 38 items for $1,303, and today we listed 19 items for $2,012. Um, so that is my goal for each day, which is going to hopefully bring in more sales, which means more time to source, which means more videos for you guys, and it means that more money comes in, and you know, essentially we can go out and do a little bit more things for you guys. Um, so yeah, uh, we will see you guys Sunday with what's sold. So. See you guys in a sec. Yo, what's going on everybody? Check it out. It is Sunday night and we're actually gonna be packing up packages up early tonight. It's roughly seven o'clock or so. And uh, the reasoning why is because we have like over 30 packages going out uh, from the weekend. So let's see exactly what we sold, how much we made and, well, you know, not made, but you guys don't understand that my gross sales for the weekend. So over here on eBay, <clears throat> we brought in a total of $1,109.17. Over on Amazon, we brought in an additional 40 something dollars, which puts us in a total of $1,154.62 for the weekend. So we're still waiting on a couple items to be paid for. I got one that sold something that sold for 150, so I'm just waiting for him to you know pay for his stuff and then yada yada yada. So we 
essentially we made more money but just haven't paid yet and hopefully they will pay so uh yeah so i already got a handful of things pulled and once my stuff is pulled my wife is going to take over and she's going to show you guys what exactly we sold all right guys so we're going to go ahead and start off with the pokemon cards first we got three sets here uh the first one going out is this bulbasaur it's the original vintage bulbasaur uncommon or uh, common you know nothing too crazy about it just a common card but it did sell for two dollars and 99 cents next we have this pikachu uh, nothing too special here either, but uh, actually it looks like they bought two. So good thing I caught that. So let me go ahead and grab the other one. All right. So like I said, nothing special here, but both of them did sell for a total of $3.98. And this person bought two Incineroars and they both in total sold for $5.46. All right, guys. And this is all the stuff that I pulled, stuff that was in my closet, spare bedroom, garage, that type of stuff. So... First thing we're going to start off here is with Hot Wheels number five. That is the SKU that we used. Uh, bought a whole bunch of uh, Hot Wheels stuff from my buddy Keith. Um, got them for less than 50 cents a piece. Uh, and this lot of 15 Hot Wheels sold for $20.99 plus shipping. Next thing going out is going to be this Matchbox thing where uh, Matchbox car where I think this is from my first buy with Trip. Trip is a homie. Um, and uh, basically a private pick, essentially. Uh, this one right here sold for $3.60 plus shipping. All right, next we have this Woman's Columbia Arcadia 2. And normally there's a $90 price tag on it. But it's brand new. We got this from the Palette. Uh, but this right here actually sold for $40 free shipping. All right, next we got this. Uh, let's see. We have the Senko DS202-14 volt um, automatic uh, screw gun with two, uh, one charger and two batteries. This is from that uh, abandoned storage unit you know, we did in Hinesville uh, where we found all, that, all those brand new tools, the Jacksonville Jaguar helmet. That's where this came from. We already sold the other one locally, uh, but this one actually sold for $60 plus shipping. All right, so now we have... The first soccer goal that actually went out. I actually got these listed probably about a week and a half ago. And the first one finally sold. It's a 6x4. As you guys can see that my wife is <laughs> knocked out. <laughs> look at it. What are you doing? Hey, babe. Hey, look at this. I love you. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, we, we had a very long day. Uh, this is a 6x4 soccer net. And uh, it sold for $80 uh, free shipping. And believe it or not, this uh, this won't cost that much because it's not that heavy. I can literally pick it up with one hand. Um, but uh, yeah, $80 free shipping. All right, next thing going out is going to be this small little 2015 uh, Dino Trucks. I think that's what it's called. We got this from like a toy little bio at a garage sale. Didn't really know what it was, you know, what a lot of stuff was worth. There's like these little baggies. We just grabbed it and, you know, figure out what we can figure out what we could sell in it and this right here actually sold for $15 free ship so the next thing I got for you guys are going to be these drape sheets um I was, I'm over, I was over here cleaning shoes um but uh this drape sheets tissue two ply white we got these essentially for free whenever the dude is moving to warehouses he was like hey, if you want them you can just have them man um and I was like are you sure and he's like yeah you gave me like 11 of them not even sure what they are I guess I don't know what drape sheets are but anyways uh, this right here actually sold for $29.61 over on Amazon. So yeah, that's all the stuff I have pulled. Now the wife is going to take over and let's continue what we sold. All right, guys. Welcome the welcome the tired wifey. She's tired. You're so tired. You know you don't have to do this. No, but I promise. You did promise. You promised your, your fans, your people, the viewers. You promised them. You promised the YouTube family. All right, guys, so the wife is going to now take over here in the loft because she wanted to be a part of the video, even though she's tired, so she's doing it for you guys. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, tell the people what's sold. <clears throat> it is a, what is that, Prizer? Yep, Prizer. So, Prizer Vintage New Package <clears throat> HO Scale Seated Passengers. Uh, yeah, so essentially they go to, like, I think they go to train sets, I think. They're just, like, little figures. We got these uh, from a storage unit um, where we found the patio glider. So it's this one. Yep, four zero two one. Yep, that's it. Yay! How much did it sell for? <coughs> it sold for twelve dollars plus shipping. Twelve dollars plus shipping. And we've got a French horn mouthpiece. And this is also from a storage unit. I'm pretty sure it's from the diecast car storage unit. Okay, so this <coughs> sold for fifteen dollars plus shipping. Yeah, that's from the diecast car storage unit, and yeah, not a bad little sale. It. All right, we have a hat going out. She finally, <laughs> she finally found it. We got a Toronto's rapper. Raptor. Sorry, Raptors. <laughs> She's not into basketball, Sorry. you guys. 
She's not into basketball. Uh, found it. All right, she found it. <laughs> Jinxed me just like you jinx the Georgia game. Nope. Yep. Georgia Bulldogs lost, some said. <laughs> okay, okay, so we got a Toronto Raptors uh, diamond cut snapback. And it's all for $19.99 plus shipping. Yeah, very nice sale. This one's filled, so be careful. Okay. If you need me to pull it out, I can. Yeah, you should probably do that. There it is right there. <laughs> little Garfield, little checkbook wallet thingy. Yeah, so we got this from our favorite person that gave us <clears throat> all the Danbury Mint collection for her Garfields. Um, and this was in our second haul from yep. her. Um, and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Very nice. That's freaking cool. Yeah. One thing about that haul, you guys, we, I don't know if this was ever addressed in another video. I'm pretty sure it was at this point. Um, we gave her more money and she came out with like another $250, $300 Danbury Mint Christmas tree. And she just wanted us to have it. So I can't win. I'm trying to be the good guy, but she keeps giving me stuff. So, um, so yeah, don't hate on me, please. I, I, I'm trying to do the right thing. I really am. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and get back to it. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going over to B4. B4? B4. Before what? B4 what? <laughs> so we sold the Justin Bieber doll. Oh, yeah, where was that from? Uh, Diecast car storage in it. it was, yeah, because he had yeah. all the toys. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a concert-style collection from 2012. So for $20 plus shipping. $20 plus shipping, you guys. So be on the lookout for some Justin Bieber toys. Uh, we got an, a Department 56 accessory. Hold on. The bumper shoot. What is it? A bumper shoot. Under, is it under the bumper shoot? Under the bumper shoot. That's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. That's what it looks like. Pretty cool. We got this from the Department 56 buy that we did for $1,500 at the estate sale. And we're running out of it. I mean, we sold through quite a bit of it. Yeah, because it's Christmas time. Yep. And people want to put up their villages. Sure is. But this little thing sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? For a small little figure. $25. That's bucks. Insane. We're going to D4. D4? I can't believe this sold. What is it? It's the cat food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the cat food sold. And where did we get this from? We got this from the... You got this from the bin store. Which bin store was it? Was it was a friendly marketplace? No, I want to say it was 10 Spot. Was it 10 Spot? It might have been 10 Spot. It, it might have been. It was either 10 Spot or friendly marketplace. Yeah, we, we go to three bin stores now, and, it, and it's hard to kind of keep up with certain inventory, especially stuff like this. I don't I don't remember where we picked that up, but I kind of figured it was going to sell. Yeah, and it sold for twenty nine ninety five free shipping. Yeah, 29 95 free ship mm. and pretty sure we got there for five bucks pretty sure so making a little bit of money off of it even though it's free shipping so you know it is what it no, is no we got it at friendly marketplace because it's the same place i got the blanket is that what it is yeah okay so yeah so we got that from friendly marketplace for six bucks yeah. so we're making a little bit of money not not a whole lot but we're probably making mm, 10 bucks yeah 10 11 12 bucks somewhere in there all right so now d3 and what is it? The true <clears throat> stuff? Yeah. So. Reread it. It is new nation. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Uh, age better booster. It's uh, a. What are you doing? What? Reread the listing. Oh, it says what? Yeah. Nine. See, it, it, I, 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 I got caught with the Pokemon card. So trust me, you ain't the only one. Yeah. So two of these sold to the same buyer. Yeah, for <clears throat> fifty five ninety eight. And how much did we get them for? Six Unc nope. Got them on clearance at Walmart, remember? Oh, then I don't know. So we got these for ten dollars a piece on clearance okay. uh, at Walmart. So we made uh <laughs> twenty eight bucks on each one. Okay, so we got the catnap figurine for the Danbury Mint collection over here. Let's see, it's on a little bed. <clears throat> yeah, this one. Ugh. Very cool piece. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, these small little statues are going to be slow sellers, but some of them will sell a little quick, but they're not really like crazy money makers. Yeah. So this one sold for eleven ninety nine plus shipping. Eleven ninety nine plus shipping. Yay. Okay. So now we got the black rack. And <laughs> tell, tell her, tell her, tell, tell everybody where we got this from. <laughs> so we got this in a garage sale. No. <laughs> we? Nope. Remember, we got it at Goodwill. That's right, we got it at Goodwill because I was going to use it because I couldn't find my speaker at the time. And it has been sitting in my office closet for... At least a year. At least a yeah. year. 
And the only reason we never used it was because we never could find a charger Yeah, for we never it. bought one, and we and were just like, you know, we're never going to use it. Yeah, so we just decided to sell it when we but, were cleaning out my room. But yeah, the model number of this is SRS XB40, and we actually got this for $13 at the uh, Goodwill. And it sold for $109.99 plus shipping. <clears throat> Next is L12. L12. Ooh. Okay. New bin that she's never been in. <laughs> um, this again was from the Garfield Hall, the, the first. first Garfield Hall at the garage sale. Yep. And we got a trim a tree ornament from 1996. Oh, yeah, holding okay. presents. Yeah. Okay. So this one sold for $14.99 free shipping. Very nice. It's got a little Santa suit on. Trini Asian thing. All three Ooh. sold the same day. Dang. Look at them. So back to D3. And we're going to grab the third yep. true knee Asian. Yeah, we sourced three of these. $10 yeah. a piece. And it sold for $27.99 free shipping. We got the third one up there. Okay, so now we're going to go to R2. Over here. And we got a vintage Hallmark peanut figurine. Um, and it sold for thirteen forty plus shipping. Yeah, so the story behind this, this is actually from a storage unit. A lady messaged me, and they said that they have a, a friend uh, that's an RN, and she said that she would love this if I was able to work with her on price. I originally had this up there for twenty, but I dropped it all the way down to thirteen forty plus shipping because that's all they could do because it's for a Secret Santa. So she was an RN. That's a nurse, right? RN. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I figured, I figured, you know, that'd be a nice thing to do because you know. Nurses are nice, so. And it's Christmas time. And, and it's Christmas time, you know, willing to let some things go. So, I want y'all to know, I am a huge, huge Harry Potter fan. And I also love Star Wars 2. So, Warwick Davis, I love him more than words can explain. And he sold, it's a signed picture of him, and it sold for $15 free shipping. Yeah, so these are like extremely slow sellers. Got this from Trip's private pick. Um, the issue is, I'm pretty sure the signature is legit, but we have no COA, we have no confirmation. So, you know, it's kind of one of those things where value drops tremendously if you guys don't have like a COA or a certification or something like that. So, yeah, you know, 15 free ship. Okay, so now <clears throat> we got another thing from the Garfield uh, selection. And... He's got a little hat on. Oh, here he is. He's so cute. It says, here's looking at you, kid. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's made by Inesco, right? Uh, Inesco, Inesco yeah. yeah. Very cool piece. Um, And it sold for $15 plus shipping. There it is. Like I said, these small figures are only going to go for about 10 to 15 There are some good ones in there, like 170 something like that. Like, There are some good ones. We got one in N3. These are coasters from the Garfield Hall. You need me to grab them? Yeah. I think right here. here we go. <clears throat> the wife is a little short, you guys. So it's yeah. okay. And these both sold for $19.99 plus shipping. There we go. There you go. Very cool stuff. Yum. Yeah, Garfield stuff is highly collectible. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yeah. How much does that one sell for? $19.99. $19.99? Mm-hmm. Why is that? Oh. Yeah, so this one, so the reason why this one sold for so low is because the ladder was split in half. Like, this thing had, like, a ton of issues with it. I was actually surprised that it actually sold. So, how much did it sell for? $19.99 plus shipping. Yeah, so that's why this one, and keep in mind, we price is also very conservative just to see if it would sell. And it, it, it sold for asking price, so, you know, maybe, maybe what they're probably thinking is they're going to glue what they can together and, uh, you know, make a little bit of money. Another Garfield figurine. Another Nesco figurine. Another Nesco figurine, Garfield. It's the. Uh, it's not the having. It's the getting. Hold on, let me move my finger. There you go. There Very we cool go. stuff. How much you sell for? Fourteen ninety nine plus shipping. There it is. Like I said, ten to fifteen bucks a piece. Yep. Right. See if she can figure it out, you guys. It's on R four. Nope, that's not it. Hey. It's right here. That's it. That's it. You remember where we got these from? No. The Friendly Marketplace. Bin store. Six bucks a piece. How much does it sell for? 
30 free shipping. $30 free shipping. And like I said, this will go at a two pound rate, pretty light. And we still got four more. All right, guys, so this is the next thing going on. We got this from the abandoned storage unit where we found all those brand new tools, all the model kits. And this is all pure profit, you guys, because we made all our money back from that unit. Yeah, and it's all for 55 plus shipping. 55 plus shipping, you guys. That's, that's a good little sale, especially when it's pure profit. All right, you guys, so this next thing going out, I meant to pull this because I forgot I had the tub in here um, because we're filling it up. And let's see if she can figure it out, though. Let's see if she can figure it out. Let's see. All right, which one is it, though? Is it that one or is it the other one? Newman sealed. There you go. Boom. All right. right. So she got it. How much did we pay for it? You weren't there. No. Got it for 10 bucks. 10 bucks. At the uh, Hinesville 10 spot bin store. Yeah. And how much did it sell for? $39.99 free shipping. Yeah. So sold for 40. Um, It should be around 8 to 10, 10 bucks to ship. I actually, matter of fact, I might be able to ship these in like a flat rate envelope. Um, But uh, yeah, 10 bucks. And we're going to definitely make about 25 bucks uh, profit. And we're going to get these Village Winter Green Spruces. Yep, we got three of those. Set of three. And it sold for $8 plus shipping. Yeah, okay, so we got Bright Lights Christmas Tree from Department 56. Yep, and again, it's from the Department 56 buyout. Yeah. That should be it right there. Yep. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. very cool. So for 19 or sorry, $9.99 plus shipping. Nice. Another sale. And then we're going back to B1. Yep, last but not least, it should be the last sale of the it day. Is. All right, guys, so this Sonic thing is the last thing going out. We got this from that Loot Crate buyout that we did. Spent like 60 bucks on a whole bunch of Loot Crate. We actually kept a bunch of it, but there's some of the stuff that we didn't really want. So how much does it sell for? $9.99 plus shipping. $9.99 plus shipping. A little $10 piece. And some of these filler stuff, man, can be some just great filler items for your store, like just great sales, you know? Um, but yeah, a little 10 bucks from the Loot Crate thing. Any last words, babe? Y'all are awesome. And I'm going to go sleep some more. Because I'm still tired. It's the same day. It's just, I won't go to bed. <laughs> all right, well, while she's going to bed, I'm going to stay up and pack all these packages by myself, by my lonesome, because, you know, my wife doesn't love me. Um, But uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of what all has sold. We had some great sales. A lot of, not really like a lot of big items, but a lot of small items. And that's music to my ears. That means it's going to be quick, easy to ship out and a handful of things that's going to take a little bit extra time to pack up safely and make sure it gets to the buyer on time and uh, safely. So uh, yeah, if you guys do enjoy this video, subscribe, like, comment. Thank you guys so much for all the love and we'll see you guys next video. It's your boy, the Georgia Picker, the Young Jedi. Peace. I don't wanna wake up.